up, fabs and besties? Today, we are sewing. We are making some shorts for our smart doll. This is a 24 inch doll. You can check out our smart doll reviews on our YouTube at My Froggy Stuff. We made a pattern that will be available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. This pattern has two pages and we always include a one inch scale so you can make sure you print it to the same size. Measure it to a ruler and if it's one inch, you're good to go. These shorts will have a waistband and pockets. That's right, real pockets. Cut out the patterns. We have five pieces. For this project, I am using a cotton fabric. I'm using a floral print for the shorts and a thin white cotton for the inside of the pockets. Before getting started, iron the fabric in real life, I'm using a full-sized iron, but for filming purposes, I'm using a miniature one. I lay the fabric so the good side is facing up, then fold the fabric over so it's good side to good side. Place the waistband on the fold. Use a pin to secure it. Pin down the front of the shorts on the folded over fabric so when we cut it out, we'll get two. I can put the pocket panel right here and the back of the shorts down here. Here is the fabric for the pocket lining. So I'm just gonna fold that over and then pin down the pattern. Now that everything is pinned down, cut them out. Take the pattern for the back of the shorts, make a small cut on this line and a few more small cuts here here and right here. Remove the pins to remove the pattern. Take the fabric and we're gonna lay it good side facing up. Then we're gonna find those little notches we just cut right there and we're gonna match up the outside notches and make sure the one in the middle is on the fold. I use my nail to make a crease. Match the center cut with the center line on the pattern. Make a mark at the point on the triangle. One of the outside cuts is right here. I'm gonna use a straight edge so I can draw a line from that outer cut to the bottom of the triangle. This gives me a line to sew on. Set the sewing machine to a straight stitch, sew on the line drawn to make a dart in the fabric. Take the time to erase the pencil marks if you're worried about them transferring onto your doll. Repeat for the other leg I trim the strings as I go, iron flat. For this little cut that we did, I'm going to zigzag along this edge to prevent fraying. Then fold it over, iron flat. Repeat for the other leg, then sew a straight line along this edge. Once both legs are done, set it aside. Take the front panel and the pocket lining Lay the printed fabric so the good side is facing up. We have a short curve and a longer one. Lay the pocket lining on the short curve, matching up this edge. Sew a straight line along the curve to try and get an even curve. Do a few cuts on that curve, then flip the fabric over the edge. Iron it. Flip it over, sew a straight stitch right along that edge on the top side. Repeat for both sides. Take the pocket panel, place one behind the sewn edge. When you flip it over, you want it to line up with the edge of the pocket lining. Grab just the lining and the back of the pocket and let's pin those in place. Carefully sew a straight line just along this edge. You don't wanna sew that, you just wanna sew this. And that creates the inside of our pocket. I am going to go back and do a zigzag stitch along this edge, making a complete front panel. Repeat for both legs. Lay them good side to good side. Sew a straight line along the curve and stop. Make a few cuts along the curve to release the tension. Open it up, lay it flat, open the seam, and iron it down. Take the two back panels, 
flip the front over so the good side is facing up. Take one of the back panels, and you see that curve there? Well, we're gonna flip it over and match up the curve with the side of the shorts. Use pins to hold them together along the side. Sew a straight line along the edge to attach the back panel. This will also close the side of the pocket. Repeat for the other side, and I'm going to zigzag along these edges to stop them from fraying. Now all of my panels are sewn together and it's one big piece. So we are going to hem the bottom of our shorts. Flip it over so the good side is facing down. Fold it once, fold it twice, and iron. Repeat on both sides to make sure they match up, then sew a straight line to hem it. Once both legs have been hemmed, take the waistband, line up the center point with the center of the front, laying it good side to good side. Pin them together across the top, sew along the top edge using a straight stitch. Take it and fold up, flip it over so the good side is facing down, fold over the top edge, iron it so both ends are now folded. Flip it back over to the good side, take the waistband and fold it in half so it goes past this seam just a little. Sew a straight line just on the outside edge, making sure you do not catch this side. Repeat on the other end, trim off the excess, turn it inside out, folding the waistband over the edge, iron it, sew a straight line right along the edge, catching both sides. Fold it in half, lining up the curve, sew a straight line along the curve, and a touch right on the edge of that folded in there. Pull the two sides apart, line up the inside of the legs, sew a straight line going across. Finish it off with a zigzag stitch. Flip it right side out, stitch on a hook and eye to make a high-waisted pair of shorts. With pockets, these are so perfect for warm weather. Real pockets are such a fun detail and I love high-waisted pants and shorts. In the back, we left an opening for the doll stand so she can stand up and show off her new clothes. I want to see if we can make these shorts for our 12 inch dolls. Here is a 12 inch Barbie doll. If the smart doll and the Barbie were the same size, the smart doll would have a much smaller waist than the Barbie. So we can't just shrink the pattern down. We're going to have to make a few alterations. And we have to take into account that we might want to use Velcro to close it in the back. Let's see if this pattern works. Cut it out, pick out a fabric, fold it over, pin it down, cut them out, take the back panel, sew the darts, zigzag, fold over and sew down the edge, repeat for the other side, take the front panel, the pocket lining, and the pocket panel, sew the pocket lining onto the front, flip it over the edge, sew a top stitch along the edge, take the pocket panel, line it up with the lining, sew along the curve, to make the pocket, once both sides have been sewn, lay them good side to good side, sew along the curve and stop. To make the front of the shorts, take the back panels, line them up on the sides, sew a straight line along the edge. On both sides, sew a zigzag stitch along the bottom of the shorts. To stop it from fraying, flip them over, fold over, and sew across the bottom. To hem them, take the waistband, place it at the top with the good side facing down, sew a straight line, flip it up, sew a zigzag stitch on the raw edge, fold it over so it goes past the seam just a little, sew a straight line on the side, trim off the excess, fold it over, making sure to push out the corners. The edge of the waistband should wrap around to the other side. Iron it, top stitch a straight line near the seam to give it a clean finish. Fold it in half, lining up the curves. 
So just along the bottom of the curve, go to the center seam of each side, pull them apart, match up the raw edges, sew a line from one side to the other to make the legs for the shorts, turn it inside out, place them on the doll, sew on a hook and eye or velcro in the back. You can also use snaps, that's what I'm gonna do. I wanted to do Velcro because it's, you know, pretty easy, but I think snaps are going to look the best. That works. And now we have shorts with pockets for our Barbies too. I will make these patterns available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. Our patterns are not perfect, but they are free, so yay. Go to the blog, click on the tab that says how to print printables, scroll down to the albums, click on the album that says patterns and stuff, choose the pattern, click on the three dots in the corner to download and print. The Barbie pattern can fit tall and classic Barbies. Thank you for joining us while we made shorts with pockets for our dolls. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!